When was the last time you volunteered for your community? Before junior achievement, I'd never once volunteered for an organization. After partaking in service learning, it has made me realize how important it can be to give back to your community. There are several organizations that selflessly work to help others, such as organizations trying to bring brighter futures to young students and encourage them to seek a higher education someday. Service learning is a great way to help your community and can be a very enjoyable experience. This was actually my second time participating in service learning this year. I did, it, I did it last semester, so this time around I had a better understanding of what to expect. The organization I chose to work with was Junior Achievement. They work with kindergarten through 12th grade students and offer programs for work readiness, entrepreneurship, and finance literacy skills. I chose to work with Junior Achievement for my service learning for the second time because I believe in their values and I had a good experience with them the first time I participated. Junior Achievement does a great job of making sure that you're situated and that you're comfortable with your group. They're also very kind and are quick to respond to any questions you might have if you want to email them maybe. Not only are you helping young students when you volunteer with Junior Achievement, but you also take home a great deal of knowledge for yourself as well. <coughs> I think at the end of the day, I learned just as much from those students as they learned from me. Junior Achievement is a great way to give back to the community and teach young kids important skills and potentially influence them to pursue a further education someday. If I influenced just one of those students to want to go to college, I would definitely consider my service learning experience a win. For my service learning project, with Junior Achievement, I was assigned to a fifth grade class. While talking to my assigned teacher, Ms. Johnson, she made it very clear to my group from the start that we should make an effort to encourage the students to pursue a higher education someday. A lot of the students we were working with were from low-income housing and had parents that did not go to college. So it was important for us to let the kids know that they could be the ones that go out and go to college if they really put the effort in. Near the end of the class, we had a really good discussion with all of them and it seemed that a lot of them were starting to like the idea of college and having Fridays off. Junior Achievement often works with underprivileged schools, so it was clear to me from the start that I needed to be understanding of all of the students' different backgrounds. The class I was assigned to was very diverse and they had many different levels of intelligence. Most of the students in the class I worked with were very eager to learn and were very well behaved. When they would sometimes get a little off track, their teacher, Miss Johnson, would chime in and help quiet the class down for us. Some of the young students had very inspiring work ethic. It was very refreshing to see some of the students excelling academically and putting their all into learning. I know that I wasn't like that in the fifth grade, so I think that a lot of the students in my assigned class were on the right track to success. Most of the students who were raising their hands and participating frequently seemed very eager to one day go to college and get a higher education. I think Junior Achievement does a great job of inspiring young students to one day go to, to one day want to go to college. Both of my experiences working with Junior Achievement were very good. I think that their organization is really inspiring. It's great to see people who take time out of their lives on a daily basis to help others. The main goal of Junior Achievement is to help these kids succeed and pursue a greater education so no one working with Junior Achievement has a selfish agenda. They just want to help to see these young students strive for greater things in life. It's important to support nonprofit organizations such as Junior Achievement so they can continue to do the services that they do. I think service learning can be a very valuable resource for my professional interests as well. If you can explain entrepreneurship to fifth graders, you're doing something right. Group work, patience, understanding, and working with one another is a big part of service learning and makes me hope I can be a role model to others like that again someday. Service learning teaches important skills that I can try to apply later in my professional career. 
working with others and trying to help others succeed are very important skills that I felt were touched upon during my service learning project with Junior Achievement. When you register with Junior Achievement, you're assigned to a group to share a classroom with, basically. It is important that you connect with your team right away so you can determine what members should contribute what. My team was quick to start an email group so we could coordinate our service learning project together. The team I got assigned to was actually really kind and knowledgeable. We were all a little nervous at first, but we ended up having a good time throughout the day teaching the class. Our group did a great job at working as a team, which made the day go a lot smoother. Our topic for the class was on entrepreneurship. A lot of the students were very interested and got excited about creating a business someday. My, my group partners said they were interested in maybe one day coming back to help students again and participate with Junior Achievement some, again someday. It seemed to me that Junior Achievement has a great reputation with the schools that they work with. The faculty at the elementary school was very great for all of us, grateful for all of us coming in. The students were all going through a long testing period at the time, so the faculty thought it would be perfect timing for Junior Achievement to come in and help the students try to unwind a little bit. The students were all very excited for us to come in, and a lot of them had talked about some of the experiences they had had with Junior Achievement in the past. <clears throat> I know that I was always grateful as a young student to receive help from others, so it felt good to return the favor as a volunteer. I remember one day Champ Bailey gave me a sports drink and a high five at my elementary school and it was a moment I will never forget. I remember my elementary school also used to have college students come into our classes and it would be very inspiring to hear about what they're working on and what college is like. These are some of the reasons I think I enjoyed working with the kids through junior achievement so much. A lot of them reminded me of myself when I was their age. It's important to give back to your community, and I think that it's starting to become less important to some people in this day and age. Service learning can be an eye-opening experience and is, in my opinion, a good thing for college students to do. I know that a lot of students might not like participating with service learning, but I think it be, can be a pretty eye-opening experience. Junior Achievement is also a nonprofit organization, so I think that it's very cool that our school supports them. I would, def I would definitely consider participating with Junior Achievement again and, and would recommend that everyone volunteers at least one time in their, at least once in their lifetime. Thanks for listening.